Mr. Bembry, selected to the Community Fellows Program at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, with a BFA in Musical Performance and Composition at Cornish Institute of Allied Arts, these studies led him to complete fieldwork with at-risk youth in performing arts at Langston Hughes Cultural Arts Theater in Seattle as resident musical director and composer of many successful music productions. Rico is responsible for the development of many innovative programs. Rico Bembry is at home among young people. How you doing, man? When I see you in. Rico was one of 11 children raised by a single mother. Today, he helps kids with similar challenges to succeed. He helped to build the Teen Life Center, where kids in central Seattle can drop in for basketball, a game of pool, or just talk about the challenges of life. So like, if I complain about my life and I expect everybody else to make it better, nothing changes. But if I do something to make it better, things change. I need Johnny Cochran to defend my... <gasps> hey, man! Woo. You gotta smoke! I'm killing myself! Why, Why don't, don't I get I it? I get it! You're killing me, man! Don't, don't you, you get, get it? it? One cigarette will lead to more cigarettes. Then maybe one day you'll be out of breath like me. Stand up. If you care about your community. Stand up. If you care about justice. Stand up. If you feel you have a voice in your community. are assumed to be doing bad things. You guys know it. You get dirty looks all the time. You'll be walking with friends and you're just assumed to be doing something wrong because you're a teen. If you're young, you're having sex anyway, even with protection, you're getting a, you have the chance of it, something happening to get a baby. So, I mean, it's, it's a choice that you're making. Because, number one, there's either not a dad in the home and the mother doesn't care and they're looking for love, so don't give it up just to get love and they think that they're going to be in love, but then they're just going to leave them, so, and that's how they start. Okay? I think you should wait until you're like old enough to be able to take care of the baby, or if okay. you're pregnant, because my sister Tasha was 13 when she had her child, and she's pregnant with another one, and she's not able to um, take care of it, provide it with what she needs. Right, let's go. 